Don't try to sneak into your room like that. I know what you've got behind your back. Records. More no records. Hello, everybody. We are here with Peter Chion of Claudio in Auburn, Washington. Now, this is where you design oh, your record yeah. cleaning machine and your right. trip table, huh? Right. You know, We're going to come back to the record cleaning machines in just a minute. We wanted to see your listening room right. first. Now, this is the turntable you showed at Pacific Audio Fest a few Correct. weeks ago. Yes. Let's take a look one more time. Uh -huh. TP3000. Techniques 1100 with your arm, right? Right. That also has the laser. Yeah, razor and also this manual is a force to prototype. Uh -huh. But this is a current product. Current product? A yeah. couple of techniques, reel to reel machines. Here at the end, we have a Sony reel to reel machine, right? Yeah. Now, when I got here, I'm going to show them what I saw that I was impressed <laughs> with Claudio reel to reel remote control. And I was asking Peter, how did you, how did you get these machines from the 70s and 80s to have remote control? Yeah, He's controlling the Sony right now. Forward, stop, play. And this works on the on the techniques also, right? Techniques also. Let's, read read. Let's go to the amplification now. A different. Yeah, mm -hmm. you're a big tube guy, aren't you? Right. You I, love tubes. I love tubes. Okay. Tell me about the speaker first. So you, I'd never heard of this before. Oh, uh, this is a, a plasma tutor. A plasma a plasma tutor from the sixties. Oh. You said right, nineteen sixty something. Okay. From Novatech. I, I here. This is a Western Electric uh, licensed amplifier. Uh, AM 1027 model is very popular in 1960. Okay. Yeah. And when I was walking by here earlier, this really stuck out to me. That is Russian. That, that is Russian. Russian writing. movie theater amplifier. That's is a, also interesting. Is that about 50? Okay. Oh, this is one of your designs, right? Yeah. This is a, a multi curve a two uh, phono amplifier with a turnover rear control. And I notice you have curves on here for the early LPs. Right. Inside of, I will show you inside. Okay. All oh, kinds of some. Uh, also, this is three input multi cop or the pre amplifier, line stage pre amplifier. Is this in production? Uh, no, this is only for me. Oh. Claudio, the audio company is not your main, it's your hobby. Right. Correct? Just hobby. What's yeah. your main background? It's a company called Coolants. Uh, my background is uh, uh, electronics. Electronics. Uh, but I starting water cooling solution business about 25 years now. And it's in Korea, the right. company? Uh, actually starting and everything uh, working here, mm -hmm. design, develop everything in Seattle. But the uh, manufacturer. Manufacturer uh, processing yeah. in Korea. And you were telling me the liquid cooling that you make is used by in the medical field and uh -huh. computers, right? right. Uh, mostly optical industry, laser or many movie theater uh, projector, big, mm -hmm. big projector. Uh, For the cooling. hot lamps that they use yeah. in the projectors? Right. Big, big, yeah, uh, the arc big lamps. Big size, yeah. the professional uh, movie theater mm -hmm. uh, uh, cooling. Yeah. And also LED industry, razor industry, uh, many optical industry, also medical industry. Too. Medical industry, medical. yeah. Now, your Claudio record cleaning machine that we'll see in a minute, that's mm -hmm. manufactured in your Korea warehouse? Right. Right. No, it is not a warehouse, it's a factory. Uh, right. Also, employees are 45 in Korea, employees? assembly and production. Okay. For the what percent, how many work on Claudio only? Claudio only is a Less than ten percent. Okay. Part of a hobby. Yeah, your hobby uh, and you use the manufacturing. I facility. really uh, don't want to do beer, you know, audio business because audio business is a, is a really uh, typical business market. Uh -huh. So my main business is 
uh, water cooling solution for the uh, high density electronics equipment uh, for uh, typical cooling area. Okay. Uh, it's my main business now. Thank you for that. Uh, Should we go over to the speakers? Yeah. This is now I saw the Wilsons you had at Pacific Audio Fest. Right. I remember those. Yeah. Let's see. JBL 4344. Mm -hmm. They're in the middle. What is this? There's a Western Electric 1925 uh, Western Electric movie theater speaker. Field, all field coil. So I actually made the all to this is all duplicate. So this is 1925, you said? Right, 1925. Also, I made a duplicate copy of the field coil uh, 555 driver. Uh -huh. This is my duplicate. I see. For also, another another duplicate copy for this tier, this a tier, uh, replica. So you made your own copy and right, you're, you're refined my own, it? Right, huh? this cool. is, I made a replica. So you essentially are using this in stereo. I see left and right, right. right. There's right. another one. And are these, you said these are Altec Lansing speakers? Altec Lansing A4, but I made an enclosure by myself. You make, did you modify this? Yeah, this modify and make a extra chassis and frame. Yes. Also lighting. Lighting, Mirror yeah. with sure. Western Electric. Uh -huh. Western electric uh, mirror, including this. This is all original Western electric. So now mirror. this you this you made. Yeah, I made it. mechanically, this, uh, electronically, all my design from scratch. This this is a radio transmitter too. Right, 1940 uh, AM FM uh, radio trans transmitter too, which is very hard to find now. Very hard to find. Right. Yeah, I'd imagine. Now there was one other speaker I saw that I had never seen before. I'm gonna I'm gonna go over here so we can see it. Yeah. This is actually a speaker. Everybody. All right, I will I will make a sound. Oh. It's probably about what five, se probably seven feet tall, six to seven feet tall. So how many speakers are on each one of them? Forty-eight each channel. These two speaker and subwoofer. Make a sound. Right. Which amplifiers are you using? I'm using for currently Altec. This interesting sound. Right. Right? We are out in the main lobby at Coolens, Claudio. This is your original machine. Yeah, this right? is my original model. Uh, I developed 10 years ago. With a reusable uh, tank inside. Together. Uh, inside water. Uh, uh, require uh, distilled water or because there is no filter inside. There's no, when did you stop making this one? The LP? This one oh. is almost five years. I continue losing money. So business wise, some quite damaged at the time. So the cost to manufacture was so right. much that you weren't making because a I, I try regarding the pricing. Actually, I never know about uh, audio market uh, price structure. Yeah. Uh, I only have doing for computer water cooling solution at the yeah. time. So, so instead of, I had somebody asked me this question, instead of discontinuing, why didn't you just raise the price more to sell it? Uh, right, but I don't want to change the price. No, I, uh, I don't want to, you know, price, uh, you know, down for price issue. That's why I, I really like to insist my product must be same quality. Uh, that's why I didn't make a price up or something. Yeah. Only stop business at the time. Because if you price down quality, right? Right. The quality of parts. Quality down, I'm, I'm not allowable. So of course. Either my engineer mind uh, is it totally unacceptable to, you know, quality oh, down. Oh. New model for this is model T. Model T, T. Now this one, there is no water inside the tank. Right. There? I made this separate water tank okay. with a heavy filter, which is many uh, be benefit uh, from the water water replacement or many uh, water issue. All right. Right. Now draining. So this comes with it, right? Right. Also, big filters. So water goes in and out. Right. Also, uh, even don't need to distill the water, just a normal running water will be fine. Also, improving uh, cleaning quality with a heavy filter. 
aside from moving the tank that was mm -hmm. inside this unit right. down here, you're right. Outside. Are the rest of the electronics the same? Almost same, but inside the design, mechanical design is quite improving. Electronic, everything is improving inside. Using okay. New model. So but basically, same concept. So if I open it, the machine in there, mm. in the U.S., you get it through acoustic sounds? Right. Correct? Yeah. Check main body, main, main unit, main body is uh, exclusive by, uh, you know, acoustic sound. Sure. But we selling uh, accessory and uh, auto rotor, silencer. What does the red mean up here? Red is uh, ready, uh, waiting for the next cleaning. This changer is an accessory. It doesn't come right. with the machine. Accessory coming. So for the accessories, they're buying directly from you? Yeah, oh, acoustic okay. sound. Acoustic sound, sound sells them too. Selling yeah, this is a sound deadening. It, it right. so, sound the siren, sir. Big difference. So what's the range for the cycle? How long? Uh, for the cycle, usually we're using three minute washing and three minute drying. For, but maybe new record, maybe one minute to three minutes. For a new record. For a new record. And if you have a dirty record, you can make it even longer. Yeah, huh? maybe longer. Five, five, five. minutes to three minutes. Okay. Dry usually three minutes will be okay, mm -hmm. but washing cycle uh, can change over. Now, once okay. somebody cleans their record on a Claudio record cleaner, mm. when is the next time they need to clean it again? Do they need to clean it uh, again? Depends on depends on the you know customer choice. The customer but choice. frequent frequent cleaning will be good, not never damage for the uh, disc. It's very safe. Uh huh. So, so that's why damage. frequently. Uh, cleaning will be fine. I, I'm not recommending any yeah. other solution. Because I've heard of people that add PhotoFlow or Ilford. Yeah. I think I'm no. worried about many alcohol or contained you know, uh, alcohol. solution. Damage record in long time. Mm -hmm. Short time, they don't know. Okay. But long time base record can be... Damaged. Now, the other and discussion now, I had with you before we started recording is we were discussing the pressing oils. oils. Oh, it's dry out after long storage time. So the record of pressing oil can be dry out and sticky mm -hmm. on the surface. Uh, it can be very effective for the sound quality. Does your machine remove the pressing right. oil? Right. This also can okay. clean up. The pressing oil is actually in the puck. They don't mm -hmm. add oil on the machine. Oh. It's in the puck. Right. And then just like when you make a pancake, it's going to stick if you don't have anything, That's right? right? Yeah. Yeah. So if someone is watching and they're in Europe or in Asia, where do you get the machine in Europe or Asia? Currently, even Europe is a acoustic sound. One more thing. Let's go show the back of the warehouse real quick. Oh, sure. here. What are all the things that are waiting to be shipped out here? We are uh, shipping mainly all coolants, water cooling uh, solution component. I developed more than 2,000 uh, SKU of the product, uh, of the product. Uh, during the last 25 years. And you have fully, patents also? And, yeah, so many, many patents too. However, currently, many item is already obsolete, uh, time obsolete, and currently we handle about 700 uh, a product is keep uh, manufacturing and selling now. Uh, medical equipment, semiconductor equipment. Uh -huh. uh, there are many different industry yeah. we are supplying for water cooling component and systems. So now some item is a big size, some item is a small, it depends on the component level or system level, a lot of different levels of water cooling uh, products we have now. Okay. But everything is unique, all our design. Uh, all right, and that's the end of our tour for today. Peter, thank you so much for oh, taking the time to show okay. us all about Claudio and coolants. Okay, thank you so much. See you guys later. Bye. Thanks. Bye.